Zoho Books tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Zoho Books online accounting software that manages your finance, automates business workflows, helps you work collectively across departments. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is simply go to zoho.com slash books. Now, Zoho is a technology company that, that has a lot of different products such as Zoho CRM, sales, booking, voices, desk, and form. Today, we will be covering Zoho books that is used for finance and we will be able to create items, invoices, time tracking, um, all of these different features are available here. Now, there is a pricing plan for Zoho books. What you can do is you can check out the price plan well there is a free version of zoho books that you can use for free and then there is a standard plan which there is ten dollars per month if built annually and then there is a professional plan which is going to be twenty dollars per month if built annually and then there is a premium plan which is going to be thirty dollars per month if built annually so you can select any of the plan and then get started with it. Signing up process for Zoho is really easy. You can sign up with your email address. You have to enter your company name, set up a password, select your country, and then you can also sign up with your google yahoo facebook linkedin and twitter so i have already signed up for zoho i will just sign in after the initial sign up or sign in to your zoho this is where you will get now let me show you around how we use zoho books and as a complete beginner you will actually see something like this because it is also a completely brand new account so you can see right here we have zoho books now in zoho we have first dashboard so dashboard will give me my overview i will be able to check my overview of my what's happening my cash flow my receivables and my total payables second we have items then we have banking sales purchases time tracking accountant reports documents and then we have features list here so first of all that we do is we create different items on zoho books because these items we can add them to our invoices and we can add different payments for these items that we create to create a brand new item on zoho you can click on this plus icon or you can go to items and click on new now i will be able to add a brand new item first is we have to select a type so I can select if it's a good or service. Well, I actually sell services. For now, let's just call it test. Then we have price. So the price is my, this is my currency that I have actually added. And you can change your currency anytime you like from settings. And I have selected this currency and my services were 59 pounds and i'm then going to go for account so in account i am going with this is actually a journal income in description i'm just going to write the word description then we have cost price so this is like the selling price and this is cost price the cost price is actually the same yeah because it's online service then we have account so in account i can add different expenses in zoho we already get different accounts created for us like rent expense then we have repairs maintenance travel travel expense, telephone expense, uncategorized and more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to cost of goods sold here. Now, once you're done with all the information, click on save and a new item will be created on Zoho. So this is my item here. Now I will be able to check my transactions. If I want to perform more actions, I can go to more and I can clone it, delete it, and I can add new item from this option. So once your item is added, let's move on to the next option, which is banking. So this is where we connect our bank and credit card. To connect your bank or credit card, click right here and then and it will allow you to add your bank we can add any kind of bank any kind of credit card and paypal as well so if you have any tokens you can also search for it you can also search for a different account if you want to enter one manually you can do so too so that's really easy um then we have sales in sales we have customers estimates invoices payment recurring invoices and credit notes i will go to customer option here and create a brand new customer click on new and then I will be able to create an individual customer. First of all, it's going to be Mr. And then I'm going to add the name last. Then we have a company name. Then we have a customer display name. So I want to go with Adam Smith. General email. Then we have phone if we want to add website. 
other information we will set up their currency we can add different currencies for different clients on zoho so don't worry if you have different clients from different regions of the world you can just add your currency so for this it's going to be canadian dollar exchange rate is going to be one payment terms due on recipients then we also have facebook and twitter click on save and your new customer will be created right here and now i can do a lot with my customer right here i can add a comment with my contact i will be able to check the their overall payable statements transactions and more then we have invoices let's create an invoice on zoho books because this is an important uh, option that we have so to create a new invoice just click on this new option and it will allow you to create a brand new invoice so this is where we create a new invoice if i want to change the name i can first we have to select a customer so that is why i wanted to show you how to create a customer so that we can create an invoice very easily now i have to select a customer i'm going to select the customer that i just added now this is going to be my invoice number which is one order name so you can give your order any name according to your business let's say that this order is actually five six nine zero then we have an invoice date so i'm going to select the date right here and it's going to be this because this is the date when you will be generating the invoice then we have terms due on receipt okay perfect so this is the due date okay the due date is going to be till monday okay perfect now we have salesperson so if you want to add any salesperson from your team you can add them here then we have the subject um so i'm gonna add the subject for services now we have to select an item we can add another line if there are two products if there are more then i can just add more and more lines and then we can just get rid of them i'm going to click right here and it will allow me to add a new item or maybe i can select from the item that i already created so we created this test item which was 59 pounds and you can see right here this is the quantity and now you can see right here because the client that i selected i gave them the currency canadian dollar so you can see right here now they're converting the rate is right here they're converting this for us and we don't need to do anything zoho is actually doing this for us we have to select the quantity well the quantity was three so i'm gonna add right here and now this is the total amount that they have to pay this is the total amount right here if there are any discounts i can give them a discount so i'm giving them five percent discount because they ordered three services and this is what they will be paying so i got rid of like 13 canadian dollars for them so this is how it works and we can very easily add discounts and i can now also add shipping charges let's say that if it were a good i can add shipping charges here and it will be added to the total then we have a customer note that is thanks for your business okay that's good all i have to do is just save and send so i'm just going to click on save and send and it will send to the email that i just added you can see right here this is the email and this is my email and this is the invoice right here very professional invoice you can see they have pay now button click on just send and it will be sent for now i'm not gonna send it um, so this is how you create an invoice on zoho similarly we have time tracking option where i can create different projects and then i can track time for these projects on zoho books we have timesheets accountant in accountant we have manual journals currency adjustments then we have chart of accountants budgets and transaction locking here i can make adjustment to my currencies then we have budgets where i can set different budgets for my different accounts and projects for my different clients and zoho is all in one platform very good for finance and accounting when it comes to your business so if you're looking for a platform that allows you to create invoices track time add budgets get accountants reports then you should definitely check out zoho books so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use zoho books don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel